Okay, so if we take our discussion a little further, so what we saw is our random variable x contains the values 0, 1 and 2 and we can also say that what is the probability that our random variable x is equal to 0. So, we saw from our calculation that it is 1 by 4, right? And what is the probability of our random variable being having 1, which is means getting number of heads in our, in our current example. So, this is equal to half we saw in our previous video. And what is the probability of getting our random variable x being getting 2 heads? And again, this is about 1 by 4. Now, interestingly, uh, we can plot uh, this kind of activity. So, our x axis will have the random variable. So, we will have say 0, we will have 1 and we will have 2. Okay. So, what is the probability of getting 0 head is 1 by 4. So, I can also do something like this 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, Please excuse my drawing because I am using an iPad now and, and my I, Apple Pencil is on the way. Okay, So, uh, my probability of getting 0 heads is 1 by 4 which is roughly around 0 0.25. So, it will come somewhere roughly here. Yeah, uh, My probability of getting 1 head is about 0 0.5. So, it will be roughly about here. Right, and what is the probability of getting two heads is again 0 0.25, so something around here. Okay, uh, one final note to, uh, and this is this is what is you know people typically call it as probability distribution function. Okay, uh, of course we'll see more examples and more detail about the probability distribution function in our pre uh, you know upcoming videos. But just keep this in mind. This is all they meant by uh, probability distribution function is what is the probability of each values within a random variable, right? Okay. So uh, the final thing that we would like to discuss is the probability of the random variable x taking all the smaller values within the sum total should be equal to 1. So, basically probability of getting a 0, probability of getting a 1 head and probability of getting 2 head and so on. In this case, of course, we have 0, 1 and 2, but in other projects and other data set, we might have 0, 1, 2 and so on, and so many values, but they all should lie between 0 and 1. Okay, So, the basically, the probability of all this should lie between 0 and 1 and the summation of all individual probabilities, the total probability cannot exceed uh, beyond 0 and 1. So, it should be within 0 and 1. All right. So, I hope you have learned something new today and discrete random variable is a very important concept which we will regularly use in our defining our machine learning problems. Um, so, please get some practice around this, uh, solve some example around it or read more about it. But this is the basic concept behind discrete random variables. So, till then, have a great day and in our future videos, we will bring you more interesting concepts. So, please subscribe and stay tuned.